Good evening from Jerusalem. Good afternoon if you're in the States. This is Gabriel Jack and welcome to BGC. Negative mitzvah number 110, a mitzvah that keeps your soul in its way. And just as a warning, the next several mitzvahs are going to be PG-13. So just be aware they are mitzvahs, but just giving you a heads up if you have little kids. Might not be appropriate for them to hear. It is a negative commandment not to come close to having relations with blood relatives even without conjugal intimacy. As the Torah says, none of you shall approach anyone near of kin to him to uncover nakedness, which means, for example, embracing and kissing. And I think they mean really kissing on the lips. These being things that lead to the uncovering of nakedness, immorality. If someone violates this and embraces or kisses a forbidden blood-related relation, relationship, or enjoys physical proximity with her, he should be given whiplashes and is to be suspected of immorality. It is forbidden to wink or signal or play with them or to sniff the perfume on them or gaze at their beauty. One should do nothing that leads to improper fantasy and it is forbidden to produce a seminal omission, this being a very severe sin. If someone deliberately brings on an erection, He's in a state of excommunication. It is a religious commandment meant by the sages to marry off one's sons and daughters close to their age of maturity, for if he lets them be, they will be led to immorality or improper fantasy. It is forbidden to marry a woman to a minor, for that is like immorality. A young man should not marry an old woman, nor should an old man marry a young girl, as that leads to immorality. It is forbidden to be in private with a blood-related relationship, and it is also forbidden to be alone with a single girl. If someone is alone with a woman with whom he is forbidden to be in private, both should be flogged with whiplashes of disobedience, and their misdeed should be proclaimed, except in the case of a married woman. Then no flogging is given and is not proclaimed although it is forbidden to be alone with her, so as not to give rise to slander about her children that perhaps they are illegitimate. This mitzvah is enforced everywhere and every time. And the next mitzvah is going to talk about the different type of relationships you might be thinking. What do you mean? You can't, a father can't be in the same room with the same house as a daughter. That we're not talking about that, obviously. We'll talk about the type of relationships that are forbidden uh, to be in private with. Um, as we move along. But thanks for listening to Spots Future Mitzvah 36. 100 for the gold. See you tomorrow.